Bonnie. Happy Sunday. Oh my goodness, you guys. We got a lot to talk about today. I was all over the place this morning. I was at Michael's. I was at Bath and Body Works. I actually went to Barnes and Noble. I went to Aldi. I have a separate Aldi video for you. I have mixed feelings about Aldi, you guys. I'll tell my Aldi story in my next video. And um, then I got lunch and I came home. So <laughs> it was a pretty good day. Got my Halloween bracelets on. By the way, thank you so much to everyone who is ordering. My mother and daughter are thrilled. I'm starting to make these things. <laughs> it's very relaxing to make bracelets in the evening, I'll have to say. So um, the Christmas bracelets I put on yesterday sold out. There's more coming. <laughs> we just got to make them all. But it's really fun to make them. Um, so I will put my Etsy star below, but we got to talk about Bath and Body Works. So first of all, oh my gosh, you guys, that advent calendar is such a train wreck times 100 now. So I go on the site, it now has 99 one-star reviews. I'm like, is that even possible? <laughs> yes, it is. I mean, Everybody is just over the top not liking this advent calendar. I don't know what they were thinking, but it is literally the oddest thing I think the Bath and Body Works has done in years. Make a beautiful red and green Christmas box and then put like these really bland products that are travel size into this box is just amazing. I want to make my own advent calendar. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I want to make it better. <laughs> so I don't know. We shall see uh, what comes of this. I can't imagine anyone ordering these things. So they're probably going to be on clearance soon. <laughs> but um, the good news for Bath and Body Works today, I'm not going to dwell on this thing. I'm not going to do it. Um, good news is they did put their Christmas preview page up front and center. Um, Pure Wonder is coming. That would have made a great advent calendar choice. And then Cotton Candy Champagne is coming. Um, again, another good choice for the advent calendar. I'm not going to talk about it. It's too upsetting. <laughs> so uh, more good news, other than the Christmas, is that we have a uh, buy three, get three sale today, um, which is always good. So I actually did place an order online. I got... Um, more of the new collection. I'm going to review these collections now that I have all of the pro or most of the products. I got the lotion in this one because it's really pretty. Um, the ruby apple and rosewood. So um, that's exciting. So I got the who keeps texting me? Um, laser ship. <laughs> oh, that was weird. I just got a text from laser ship and it says they were unable to deliver my bath and body work. I'm like, I've never had that happen before. I'm home. <laughs> I don't know. It, it might have been a problem with the truck. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I will I will check on that. But that is really strange. I've never had an unable to deliver <laughs> notification before. Okay, that's weird. We're going to we're gonna move away from the weirdness and talk about what I bought today at Bath & Body Works. So I went to the mall today. It was really crowded. I went later than I usually do. I'm an early bird. I usually get to the mall at 10 a.m. during the week, 11 a.m. on Sunday. I didn't get to the mall until like um, noon, and it was busy. There were, there were a lot of people there, so I just kind of scooted in and out. Um, I did have two exchanges on candles, so I got two candles um, that I hadn't had yet. I got Harvest Gathering with the yellow um, label, which is super pretty. I think I have a harvest gathering in that um, brownish uh, label, the one with the white pumpkin and oak wood. I love harvest gathering, though, so it's okay that I got another one of those. And then I also got, check it out, a uh, pumpkin spice latte in the high pumpkin. I wish it said high pumpkin, but this is super cute. I like this packaging, and this is one of my favorite scents. So I got two candles, and then I also got a lot of pocket bags. I'm going to dump these out. I got 15 pocket bags, you guys. <laughs> Luckily, I had a coupon. By the way, we still have the bag shortage going on. Every week, I bring my poor little beat up Bath and Body Works bag in there <laughs> and just reuse it. Um, 
a ton of Christmas pocket bags. It's really what I want to talk about today. These are exciting. So I know we had the dollar pocket bag sale yesterday, and I did order some fall ones online because the Christmas ones were not online. So get this. This is so strange. I don't know why Bath & Body Works does this, but this is a little bit frustrating. So in the store, you cannot get um, the Ruby Apple and Rosewood yet. This was in the back. They're bringing all of this out in the floor set tomorrow. Online, you could not get the Christmas pocket bags, but the stores all had them. So it was the complete opposite. Very strange, but that's okay. So there's a lot of Christmas pocket bags, you guys. I mean, I was actually shocked <laughs> by how many I got. Um, luckily, I had a 20% off coupon, so it wasn't too bad. So I'm just going to show you guys. So the first set I got. Um, is the <laughs> the flagship collection, but they don't match, which I thought was kind of interesting. So Winter Candy Apple, Twisted Peppermint, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Uh, Winter Candy Apple and Vanilla Bean Noel match, but then Twisted Peppermint is a little bit um, of a different packaging, which I thought was interesting. Um, not sure why they did that, but that's okay. There's actually a pattern here. <laughs> so the Winter Candy Apple and Vanilla Bean Noel match the iced cinnamon rolls. This is actually a really good one. Although um, the gingerbread men have got like stars on them, so they look a little strange. <laughs> and then the other one that matches this collection is Christmas Morning Mimosa. This one is super pretty. I can't believe I'm showing Christmas stuff right now. It just feels so weird on September 26th. Um, I know I did candles too already, but it's like, wow, <laughs> Christmas comes so early and then tis the season, um, which is one of my favorites. So these are the Christmas pocket bags that are starting to land. Um, I actually got, apparently I got three Christmas morning mimosa. I was just grabbing these. I couldn't even see them. Um, and then we also have winter berry ice. This one looks really good. Check this one out. I like this one. Oh, that smells good. Um, I got a second Tis the Season. And then the set that matches the Twisted Peppermint. So there's a set of five of these. Um, there's Frosted Coconut Snowball. There is Fresh Sparkling Snow. There is Winterberry Ice, which I showed you. And then the fifth one is Frozen Lake. Um, and then I also got a White Pumpkin, which is a fall one. Because I, I wanted to go in increments of five. You know what's interesting, though? I kind of was thinking about this. I wonder this year if they're going to take Twisted Peppermint out of the flagship threesome and make it um, in a different collection. The only reason I'm thinking that is because on the Christmas preview, um, if you go to Bath & Body Works, their webpage, um, they've got the um winter candy apple and vanilla bean noel like front and center on the christmas preview okay they do not have um the twisted peppermint i'm not seeing twist actually i'm not even seeing i'm seeing wait a minute i'm seeing vanilla bean noel but the packaging on vanilla bean noel looks like this which matches the winter candy apple so red and green but the Twisted Peppermint, I don't see yet. And it's odd that it's in this other collection. So maybe we'll get different packaging on Twisted Peppermint this year. It's possible that they're going to change things up a little bit. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> I can't wait to see all the packaging, though. I am so excited about all the Christmas packaging. Um, believe me, I am still full-on fall and Halloween, obviously. <laughs> I got Halloween all behind me. I'm so excited about uh, what I'm going to do in October. I can't wait to show you all my fun Halloween videos, but I will be doing um, Christmas in between as it comes out because <laughs> I know a lot of people are excited about Christmas, as am I. So anyway, um, I was, it was really fun to see all these Christmas pocket bags. I'm going to put these in a bin. I'm not going to use any of these yet. These are going to be saved for later. <laughs> so anyway, what a day. What a story. I feel like today has already gotten a little strange. So anyway, I will see you later. Bye-bye.